Hi, this is Chris Bodie sharing with you a little bit from God's Word today. It's May the 5th, 2020, and I'm going to share with you a few verses from Romans chapter 5, starting at verse 1. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand, and we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. More than that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. I'll stop there for now. A lot could be said about those words, but one word in particular I would like us to make note of is the word hope which is used there three different times. The way we often think of hope in our usual English usage is that it's a wishful thinking kind of hope. Oh, I hope it doesn't rain today. And the idea is that it may rain or it may not rain, but I hope it doesn't. And there isn't much solid to it. But the way that it's used here in this passage is very different, that when God speaks to us about hope, he's really speaking to us about something that is very solid and certain, because it's not a hope based on just anything, but it's based in Christ. And these times in which we are now living is a time in which everything is being shaken. God, in his wisdom and for his purposes, is shaking our world, and people are beginning to realize what their hope has been built on. Either it's been built on something that is rock solid and immovable, or it's been built on something that is part of this world, part of the created order, and that it is not solid and it does not endure forever. And so what God is doing in this time is inviting all people to come back to or to continue to put their hope in Jesus Christ because As I referred to earlier uh, in a previous devotion, Jesus is that rock-solid foundation and that a foundation for life that is built on anything else but on God and his promises in Christ is going to prove to fall apart. So this is a word of encouragement to you today just to take to heart these words that I shared with you and to place your hope in God, which is a certain thing, a rock-solid promise from our Lord that when we put our hope in him, we will not be put to shame, or as one other version puts it, we will not be disappointed. And so let us do that today. I invite you to join me for prayer. Lord, we thank you that in Jesus Christ, we have something that is solid, a foundation that cannot be shaken. I pray, Lord, that you would reveal to our hearts and minds places in our lives where we are putting our hope in things other than you, and that you would cause us to turn from that and put our hope instead in Jesus, your son, who died for us and rose again from the dead, that we might have forgiveness and a new life. And that while we are here in this world, that our hope would be placed in you and in Jesus, your son. It's in his name we pray. Amen. God bless you, friends. Until next time.